Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we'll be talking about a Soviet semi-active radar homing missile, which is a part of the R-3 family. So, the R-3R. What is it? How to use it? And why is high-altitude interception a funny way to smoke foolish F-5Cs out of the sky? The good old R-3. The very first missile Soviets ever get in War Thunder. Nothing special. Cage seeker, long burn, mediocre acceleration, low range, and 10G overload. Why would you ever use its radar version? Well, you can use it in a head-on. The R3R is an overall upgrade over the R3S, with lower burn time, better acceleration, an uncaged seeker with good angles and lock-on range. The only issue is, you need a radar lock to launch it. The R3R is available on most MiG-21s in the game, like the 21S, SPSK, MF, Lazur M, SMT, and all of the best versions. So, you have tuned up planes with decent radars, good acceleration, and flight performance, but what do you need to use the R3R efficiently? Knowledge. Despite overall upgrades, it's still an R3, and low altitude performance leaves very much to be desired. The missile itself feels most comfortable at altitudes from 5 to 7,000 meters, or from 16 to 23,000 in real units. At that height, it has very good range and turning rate, and combined with the MiG-21 radar capabilities, you can successfully destroy targets up to 5 kilometers away in head-on combat. Since the missile doesn't have good acceleration, you need to have high speed at launch, preferably above Mach 1, to give it a good boost. Then, just keep your lock on the target and watch your mandatory hangar tour ticket being delivered. Unless your target remembers to bring chaff, or knows how to dodge the thing, it's doomed. If you want to use it in side or rear aspect, proceed with caution and choose your launch angle and distance carefully. Too far, and the R3R will lose its energy before reaching the target. Too close, it won't be able to pull hard enough. So, best use case is a jump scare head-on weapon. This clip right here, guys, is a very good example of how not to use the R3R and how to use it properly. So with this first F8 here, I launched it from 7 kilometers away in a side aspect. And as you guys are going to see, the missile just eventually loses the target and self-destructs in midair, which you'll see it going by here in a second or so. Now, the second F8 is closing in pretty quick. I get a radar lock on him, wait till about two kilometers, and I just launch the missile and it goes right into his face and he enjoys it like a nice piece of cake. In this next one is the very, very rare occasion that an F5C player actually managed to use their brain. He didn't flare, he didn't chaff, he just launched an, M <laughs> an AIM-9E at my missile and shot it out of the air. But I digress. Another great way to use the R3R is whenever you're firing it downwards. It doesn't really lose speed and it can still get to the target fairly easily as will happen with this F-111 here even though I only get a crit and an assist, the missile still made contact with it, and I even managed to rip my own wings off in the process. So sometimes miracles can happen like that. But we're going to wrap the video up right there, guys. So I just have to give a huge thank you to my writer and co-producer, Mechanica, because without him, this video would be absolutely all over the place. So if you guys liked it, let me know down below, and hopefully we will have more of these videos coming out soon. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.